What is going on guys, it's great to see you here to do a video comparison between the Google Maps and the new Apple's iOS Maps. Alright, first of all the design, really really simple. Over here on the Google Maps, we've got your maps, obviously, you get local, navigation, my place, check-in, latitude, and location, history. Down the bottom, you get your search, direction, pin, and different views. So, you got different choices there. I've turned on the traffic to give you guys a better look. There we go. Over the iOS, you got your search direction, you got bookmarks, you can save your location and put your home button down here, you can uh, drop in, print, high traffic, last, uh, list, list results, standard view, hybrid view and satellite view. And right, now let's go back. Alright, first thing you'll notice is the amount of the details on this, on the Google Maps. I'll bring that to you closer can tell the traffic there's a red line over there which means that there's a traffic in there so really really nice feature on the Google Maps and I like how it's got so much information in there so you won't get lost alright it tells you all the parks different street different places alright so that's that one iOS here we go not much information although it shows you the traffic but definitely not as much as this not much feature not much details compared to the Google Maps so I'm not really happy with that now also by the way I've heard so many people complaining about this anyway about the apparently the apocalypse there's been apocalypse going on according to this uh, map so I mean, we're gonna find out in this video uh, let me just put that in portrait. All right, now let's go ahead and type in Sydney. <clears throat> Sydney, New South Wales. There we go. So you get that sort of drop effect. Now let's go there. Different look. Over here, we've got your address directions to here directions from here add to contacts add to bookmark share location and report a problem and then over the top you get sort of a picture it says 31 kilometers from where I am from over here your favorite button map direction call street view now speaking of street view I'm gonna be showing that to you guys now really really nice feature on the Google Maps so you can't really get this on the iOS so it gives you 3d view of the actual street not just that you can even zoom in and it'll take you to a different street so let me just there we go so just by double tapping it so that's really really cool feature so in case you're lost you know so really really cool there we go that's a quick preview of that and as I said with iOS maps you can't get that alright that's done now let's switch to hybrid view alright or uh, let's go satellite there we go alright as I said information more information than this compared to this zoom in it will just show you all the houses different houses zoom in here still shows you the uh, traffic and here are the houses now as I zoom in it will tell you the name of the uh, place as well and the road so really really cool and I just feel like the Google Maps is just more um, more real compared to the this one I feel like the maps is also more up to date compared to this so really really cool alright both have you can also turn them around I'm gonna change view so really cool effect on both of the device alright All right. so now we're gonna be searching the Statue of Liberty and that's one of the main 
um, or most search I must say on the iOS maps because apparently it's been destroyed alright so I'm just gonna go Statue of Liberty alright we go hybrid hybrid view alright yep there we go I can tell that it's flat well not really flat but it's been damaged compared to let's try the Google Maps alright let me just try let me search statue of Liberty Monument yep National Monument alright here we go let me zoom in there we go yep you can tell that this one is fixed compared to the other one you don't really see the crown and you know so that's not a good sign Apple alright now let's try the Tearing Anu airport which is in Malaysia Tearing Anu alright Tearing Anu airport okay airport let's go that one and we'll type it on this as well let me check the spelling see I'm right so it's double G Tearing Anu airport all right there we go <clears throat> okay so we're just gonna be what we're gonna do is we're gonna be zooming in all right so here you don't really see any color so that's that's one of the problem about this as well is it's pretty much black and white I think I think we're still in the 60s or 50s or you know all right report uh, let me search again all right whereas here there really isn't problem or I keep zooming in There we go, it's really really detailed. You can even see the clouds. There we go. So see the difference? You can even see the clouds over there, so there we go. Big big difference between the two. Alright, so there we have it guys. That is a video comparison between the two. If you guys own an iPod Touch or iPhone let me know what you think of this um, iOS maps if you reckon um, if you prefer the the old Google Maps or the new one so leave it down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video bye bye